Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to the Reptile Barn. I have an experiment I want to show you guys. I have placed, let me show you one more time in case you missed it, a bunch of dubia inside this plastic container. I've seen people do this many times with their tree monitors and I wanted to try it. So I want to see, first I have to make him realize that there's food. Hey buddy. Yoo-hoo. Right here. He doesn't recognize this container as meaning food necessarily. So I'm gonna... There, now he sees. I wanna see what he does. He does not like the phone. Um, so I don't know if he's gonna come close right now, but I'll try and get some footage whenever he does crawl up to it. So I'm gonna be quiet now and just see. I'll, I'll probably clip some of this out. We'll see. Look up, buddy. I'm gonna get it out for you.
So as you guys saw, I went ahead and had mercy on him and Tong fed him one. I'm not certain why he's not going for these. He's extremely curious. He's not terribly nervous or anything. He's coming right back. Um, you know, he's not shy of me. He, he's, he is pretty shy of the phone. But uh, he reached inside the bottle with his head several times, but only the front half of his head can fit, which I did on purpose. Uh, he reached in with his arm one time and nearly had one out, but it ended up uh, knocking the bottle into the hole here. So I pulled it out, as you saw. I'm very curious as to why he's not taking the ones that I knocked out of the bottle for him. Um, he's just extremely uh, curious about what is going on. This is good for him. This is excellent um, stimulation. Just These are curious, smart animals. Um, he's in a large enclosure. There's live plants, plastic plants, um, different types of hides, different temperature zones. Uh, we alter his humidity, although it's always very high. So we try and keep it pretty interesting in there for him. And he, he explores, he's always moving around. Every once in a while we change his furnishings a bit. But uh, yeah, see now he's down at the food bowl. Thinking, why, why isn't my food in here? He's extremely confused right now. Uh, I'm sorry if you guys can't hear me very well. I'm moving all over, trying to hold the phone steady though. Um, I was just saying... He is confused. I've never fed him this way before. He has only ever eaten off of tongs or out of the bowl. <laughs> he has never been offered food out of a bottle like this. So even these ones that fell out, he's just slightly cautious of. I'm very, very interested to see what he's gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put away the phone and see if he'll act a little bit more bold with the phone gone. And if he still won't, I'll probably just leave and I'll come back later. But I wanted to, to do this experiment. I'll probably do this with him more. Um, and uh, we'll see how this goes. This is Little Blue. Uh, so this is a captive bred male blue tree monitor. Um, he's a friendly animal. We used to handle him a lot. We don't handle him a ton anymore. Um, so now when I go to handle him, he's pretty scared for the first 30 seconds or so. He doesn't bite. Uh, he doesn't really thrash or anything, but he's just, you know, stiff and staring at me. But after a minute, he calms down and he does a lot better. Uh, but we might start working with him more again. But I wanted to do this food experiment and just see what his response was. And I'm intrigued. I'm going to go back and watch the footage. And uh, we may clip out a little bit so it's not so long for you guys. But I am, I am fascinated by how his, he's behaving. Um, this is a very well-fed monitor, so don't worry. We're not... We're not gonna starve him. If he just doesn't wanna eat like this, we will not make him eat like this, <laughs> of course. But uh, I did want to see how he'd respond to something like this. Now he's just up there basking as if he had just eaten a big meal. See, that's, what, that's kinda what I wanted to get into a little bit. They have these habits they build up and uh, he's acting as if I had not altered his routine. Normally, I tong feed him several roaches and then I pour the rest into his bowl and he eats those and then he comes up here and basks. Uh, that's, you know, his daily routine with feeding. And I've altered it, but he's having trouble altering it. <laughs> he, he immediately took the one that I offered off of the tongs. He then went down and checked his bowl and now he's up here acting like he kind of wants to bask, but he's obviously confused. You see his tongue just going and going and going. He's like, what is going on? Why is this happening? Where is my food? Obviously he doesn't feel full. He ate one roach. Um, so anyway, I just, I've seen other people with tree monitors do this sort of thing. And I really have been anxious to try it. So I figured why not? Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was awesome for me. Uh, I know that this isn't like our typical style of video, but uh, I just, I don't know, I really did want to try this and figured I'd get it on film. And if even one or two of you is interested by it, then that's good enough for me. And we might do another video on this later. If, you know, we'll, we'll probably try this a couple times a week for the next couple of months. And if he makes some progress and acts, you know, in different interesting ways, then we'll take another video, kind of a follow-up here in a few months. 
Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, until next time, we are the Reptile Barn. What, Caspian? I'm in the, the lizard room. <laughs>